my nails weren't put on properly the color was everywhere it was a disgrace never go there the place is filthy awful job on my nails clearly no training don't speak a word of english don't go the customer service here is terrible and as a paying customer i do not expect such attitude from the workers i am utterly disgusted by the way i was treated here or i have been treated here hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i did a worst reviewed for you guys so today i'm switching it up and i'm gonna go to the worst reviewed nail salon in my city so stay tuned if you guys want to see that so the nail salon that I chose to go to was really, really tiny. What took me by surprise was how small it actually was. I was not expecting that at all. Um, none of the comments <laughs> spoke about how small it was. It was a very small, tiny, cramped place. And it wasn't the cleanest of places. Um, the furniture was dirty. Just, yeah, it wasn't clean. And it didn't look like somewhere that was cleaned all that frequently. I think they clean their workstations and that's about it. Um, but in terms of general store upkeep it didn't seem like there was a lot of that going on and there were about five workstations all kind of back to back so i could elbow the person behind me and it was just really really close and cramped and it wasn't the most comfortable um salon experience for me the lady who did do my nails didn't really talk to me all that often um this may have been a problem for some people but personally for me i wasn't really there to be spoken to i knew what i was going for and that was to get my nails done so i wasn't really phased at the lack of communication but yeah we kind of just went through the motions of getting my nails done and one thing that i did notice though is that my cute my cuticles were left untouched um, they didn't trim them or anything like that and they don't look nice Like the cuticle area. I will show you guys when I do the reveal at the end But yeah, they didn't trim my cuticles. They just went straight into cutting well, they first they filed down the surface of my nail and then cut my nails down to the nail bed all of this was happening with zero communication whatsoever um if she did communicate with me it was to relax my hand she would like just pull it and just you know just say like relax <laughs> And then came the part that I was the most concerned about. It was the design part. And I am going away for the holidays tomorrow. So I was like, okay, even if I do go to the worst reviewed nail place and they butcher my nails, I kind of still want it to be presentable. So I picked kind of a simple design that I thought that they couldn't mess up. So this is what I asked for. and i'll just show you guys her doing the designs and everything she charged me one extra pound so like just a dollar and a bit more to draw lines like literally just to draw a couple lines on my nail um i was charged a, 
uh, a pound more which struck me was as odd because it is still nail polish like i wasn't using any more of their resources than normal because i could have gone in there and had each finger a different color and it still would have cost me the 15 pounds it's just that because i wanted stripes on two fingers it was a pound extra um which you know i didn't really have a problem paying it it was just odd <laughs> After she'd painted on like the initial colours, so the reds and the glitter colours, then she'd go ahead and stuck me under a dryer, so I was just there um, drying my hands, waiting for her to come back to me. And you know what, I did smudge my hands a couple times when I was under there, I bumped them against the dryer and she just, you know, fixed them and things like that. I wouldn't necessarily say she had much of an attitude problem. I'd put it down to tiredness. You know, these ladies work all day, every single day, um, doing people's nails, doing the same thing, in and out, in and out, in and out. So, you know, I wasn't really particularly concerned about the way she spoke to me. I just assumed she was tired, which is absolutely fine. Um, I guess for some people it's like, okay, even if you are tired, you do have customers and they are paying customers. So you should be on your A form all the time. But you know, I'm fine with it. I understand people are human and things like that. So um, I'm not too worried about all of that and what was happening um, in regards to what she was saying. Yeah, in terms of the stripes, I don't think she did them the way they're intended to be done. Um, I would have assumed she would have put like, you know, the stickers that you put on your nails, like the strip ones, and then painted over it and then peeled that off and then done a top coat over it but i did actually have to ask for a top coat to be put on after she'd done the stripes i think it's just that she forgot um but these stripes resemble more of like a tiger than a candy cane if that makes sense like i was going for a candy cane angle but a candy cane angle isn't isn't necessarily what i got and <laughs> you know what i am fine with that I don't necessarily care um, so yeah overall I am quite happy with how my nails look I don't really have any major problems they do look nice and I only ended up paying 16 pounds for them in like the main inner city London it easily costs about 25 to 30 bucks to get your nails done and I know in America it costs a lot more than that as well so for what it is that I paid, I think she did a really, really, really good job. It's not exactly what I asked for, but at the end of the day, like, people are human and they make human error. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys what the nails look like. And then I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison of what they look like and what I asked for. So these are my nails as you can see this isn't quite um as candy cane as i would have wanted it i just think the lines are too many and too close together for it to resemble candy cane but here are the nails i'm just going to show you guys how the acrylic was done so you can see like the smoothness and things like that but yeah what i was saying about my cuticles you can see it looks like really kind of scruffy there so it's not the neatest of things but these are my nails and i don't think that they deserve the one star ratings that they've got they've got such bad reviews 
um i think their average is about 1.7 stars and honestly they're not bad at what they do genuinely like a person couldn't look at this hand and tell me that they knew i paid 15 bucks for it you know so i'm not mad like i'm really not mad at all okay now that i've shown you guys what my nails look like live i'm gonna just show you a side by side picture comparison that i took so you guys can see exactly what i asked for and what i received um as you guys can see as well it's not too far off um everything else is pretty much as it should be remember that i did flip the picture though so she has done them the wrong way around um so yeah my left hand has the gold on it when it should have silver and my right has silver when it should have gold but that isn't that deep it's not even an issue really so that's what i have to say about that thank you guys for watching my first ever um worst reviewed nail salon video if you guys want to see more of these kind of videos on my channel then go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button the bell notification button if you guys want to be notified when i upload again and share this video with your friends if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one